that Grammy performance? What? What? I mean, the, it was, it was a, I don't want to say you. killer, but it was a killer. Oh, uh, thank you. It was you. amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank what you. What was it like to have that young audience still receive the music exactly as it was when you I mean, created? I was scared. Were I, you? Yeah. See, they called me three weeks out. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't prepared for the phone call. Would you like to do the Grammys? I'm like, huh, what? what, what yeah, Aerosmith. They only give you three weeks notice? It might have been two weeks. So I'm like, what? You drove us crazy. I was going, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So the, for three weeks, I'm like, so what's gonna happen? When are we gonna do rehearsal? What's gonna happen? I haven't seen Aerosmith in, you know, 10, 20 years. Let's... 30. No, it wasn't 30, it was whatever it was. <laughs> whatever it was, I was scared, so. I right before that, wa yeah, I know as everybody said, Questlove said the same thing to me. What are you scared of? Your run. Your I'm like, run. I don't care. <laughs> Who's gonna be there? Who's watching? Let's go to the whole world. Oh my God! Like, <laughs> Did you? Rehearse? No, but that's what happens. You know, that's the sign of somebody that really wants to win, that wants to do well. You know, I still care. Every time before I perform, I get scared. I walk in circles. But then when I get out there, it all drops. Just the magic. So up everything. to the moment that we kicked the door down, <laughs> and it, and we exploded onto the stage. I was jittery, but then when I got up there, it's a whole nother story. It just all transformed. It leaves. And so here you had this joyous occasion, and then a few hours before you're walking out there, we learned about the tragedy yes, with yes, Kobe, yes, his daughter, yes. and the seven other families. And you have to switch gears. Yeah. Now you're celebrating this moment, but you have to put someone else. Well, we were in the Staples Center, so I, I had to say, okay, this is where Kobe performed. So all these performers are performing on his behalf. So the whole thing became about him, and he loved music so much. What made him stand out from the crowd? I don't, I don't know. I mean, he looked cute. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, I don't know. It's just, so, and, and believe it or not, when I met him, he wasn't even run yet. He was the son of Curtis Blow. I wasn't no run DMC when I met her. And um, he stood in one spot. He did not do what he does now, <laughs> but he did his thing. He did his thing. And when they whisked him in the back, I knocked on the door. And gave a phone number and the rest is history. Oh, you made the move on Come him? On. Come on. I was on stage. <laughs> no, then, then we, listen, we you were, know what? let me finish, wait, wait. No, no, I know you don't want me to say no, it, no, but no. I'm gonna say it. Oh. <laughs> No, first of all, we were only 15 to 16 years old, and then we drifted apart and came back together later. So we don't have that much time to right. tell a whole story, Josh. I'm gonna tell it quick. So listen, <laughs> so when we knocked on the door really quick, I had two of my girlfriends with me. When I knocked on, he came out, he signed my first girl autograph, he tongue kissed her. What? Wait and a second one. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the Reverend, <laughs> shut up. So I, was, I, was, I wasn't no reverend. I know, I know. I was I know. 15. I know, I'm sorry. So then it was the, my second girlfriend signed her order, tongue kissed her. Uh, what? Then um, the third, the third I'm is embarrassed. the third is me. Usually he hates when I tell a story because he has a collar on. It's so funny. Well, I'm, I'm dressed like Run today. You're so. dressed like Run today. Yeah. So then it's me. So you would think I would say, hey, no, no, no. no. I let him kiss me too. <laughs> True. So this is the part I love. You talk about old school love. It says, it's looking into someone's eyes and not at your cell phone. It's taking a photo and having it last a lifetime. Not just an Insta. It's a five course meal, not fast food. Mm. Mm. Is that what's happening with love? Yeah, you know, they say love is not about just looking in each other's eyes. It's looking in the same direction. Are you on the same page? And um, there's some other quotes like, listen to the whispers so you don't have to hear the screams. What does that mean? That means that once she... When you hear me say, Joey, can you stop putting your robe on the ground? <laughs> and he keeps doing it. Joey... That's the whisper. Yeah. The scream becomes when you don't listen. So if you listen to those whispers, then... Joey, I, I said... Yeah, you, and, you know. and, so listen to the whispers. Right. So you want to you wanna be... You want to be attentive to your mate. You want to know when they're discontent when they're unhappy. So if you can get that down, Pat, you'll know how to navigate a marriage 